Okay, before it was giving us the blue screen of death. Oh, there we go again. Okay, hello, this is Dr. Janes, and today I'm going to talk about reinstalling Windows 7. Let's see if we can see that Windows 7. This is a Windows 7 uh, restore disk. Onto your, uh, or, yeah, on your, onto your computer. If you had a version of Windows and, you know, the, uh, well, you got one of these stickers on the bottom, these Windows stickers. It's got the 15, is it 15 digit or 20 digit? One, two, three, four, five, twenty-five digit number. Anyway, so if you got that and uh, your Windows crashed and you would like to reinstall Windows on your computer, hopefully you have one of these or you can buy them online for pretty cheap, like ten dollars I think now. And uh, this is the restore disk and we can boot that in this drive, but um and it's not booting off of the disk first so I'm going to first go in and, and change the uh, BIOS settings and in order to do that let's take a look at the keyboard up here you need to press F10 while it's booting so we're gonna turn it on and where's F10 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 okay and that boots us up into BIOS and so then what I'm gonna do I'm going to change the settings in BIOS so that it will boot off of the uh, CD disk first instead of the hard drive. Okay. Okay. So at the top here, there's a menu bar, and you can use the arrow keys. It's got the arrow keys on the keyboard, left and right arrow keys here, to move the menu board back, menu bar back and forth. See that? And it goes through the different options. So, okay. So the first option is main, and that's right here. And then we can go to security, that has to do with passwords, diagnostics, we're not going to do any of that stuff. Uh, okay, so this is system configurations, and if we look here it says boot options. We'll go down to, so boot options are highlighted, and we hit return on that. And it says, uh, gives you a delay time and whether these devices are enabled and we want to go down to boot order which is down at the bottom there and we'll hit return or enter I should say some people don't know what return is to me they're the same thing <laughs> okay so <clears throat> it has the order here I'm using the up and down arrows now okay so we have up and down arrows and I, as I move these it moves this uh, bar up and down so so it starts out out here and we want to have the uh, CD-ROM boot first so if you look at the directions on this side it says you can use F5 and F6 to move the devices up or down in the uh, configuration so we'd like to move this one up to the top so we'll try F5 I guess and F5 are the, the function keys at the top of the keyboard up here. This is F1, F2, F3, F4, function 5. Okay. <clears throat> and so we will try function 5. Uh, I guess that moved it down in the order. So let's try 6. Okay, that moved it up, 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 and up to the top. So now it's going to try booting off of the uh, the the CD drive. The CD drives on the side over here, of course. We're going to stick our Windows disk into the CD drive and try to boot off of that. So we want to boot that first, okay? And then if we look at the bottom down here, there's options on how you can. Uh, exit or exit and save so if we press F10 it will save and exit so F10 is one of these function keys up here it's the tenth one over it says F10 on the keyboard F10 and we'll hit that 
and I'll say exit and save changes and we'll hit yes okay and then we're going to want to uh, restart the computer and we're going to stick our Windows disk in the drive so let's do that we'll stick the Windows disk in the drive while the computer's up and running because it won't let you open this door when it's not running so here we go and got our disk and we'll stick it on there and close her up and uh, let's restart it and we'll reboot it again Okay, we need the press space bar to force it to work off that disk. Okay, we set up. Loading Windows files. <coughs> so again, we uh, did something and it corrupted the uh, boot of Windows. So now we're trying to reinstall it using a recovery disk for Windows 7 Okay, English, install now, okay, okay, let's just try install now, and um, we'll accept the license. We could try and upgrade, I guess. Okay, so that's absolutely not going to work. Okay, let's take a look here, it says it is installing Windows, expanding Windows files. Step two at the bottom.
Six percent, seven percent, okay, we're still on step two of the Windows installation. here it's moved out to there Installing features. And that bar is going way across the bottom now. It's way over to there. Installing updates. Okay. Windows needs to restart to continue. Okay, so I guess we'll let it restart. Windows 7. Okay. is updating registry settings. Okay. Set up starting services. Completing installation. Okay. That green bar at the bottom is slowly ticking over. Oh, this is so exciting. Okay, so it looks like we're going to do another restart.
Okay, setup is preparing your computer for first use. This looks promising. Username. Okay. Type password. Product key. Okay, so remember that thing we have on the back of the computer? We have to type that in right there. Let me get that and we'll type that in. Okay. Okay, so let's start typing this in. D four C Q. Okay, now it says preparing your desktop. Okay. Looks like Windows is up and running now. And it wants to check for some kind of issues, so I guess we'll let it do that. But it looks like looks like we're back in business. Okay, and it looks like our Windows is up and running again. We'll have to reset the screen settings and everything else, but looks like uh, we were able to restore Windows from a restore disk. And uh, let's take a look here. Okay, so we have the Windows restored from a restore disk. And anyway, this is a uh, Dr. Janes, and thanks for watching.